Good morning! I have not filmed a vlog in a hot minute, so that is what we're doing today. My dogs are eating their breakfast. I'm about to make myself an iced coffee along with some soft boiled eggs and some toast. I wish I had avocado, but I don't have avocado. So we're about to make ourselves some iced coffee and get breakfast going. And then I actually have to go respond to a couple emails and I have to update my media kit for a couple brands. And then I'm gonna be posting my glam light vlog today. Now my glam light vlog, um, unfortunately, it's not monetized because of all the loud music, but that's all we kept it separate from the actual like LA trip because I knew it was gonna be monetized. So I'm just posting it just for you guys to enjoy. And then I'm gonna kind of have like a relaxing day today because I pretty much have a jam packed weekend with all this bachelorette stuff. So I'm just gonna relax today. I'm gonna just maybe read something. I'm gonna like watch or watch or play video game. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna have like a kind of relaxed day and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. So. Anyway, guys, welcome to the vlog. It's so good to be back. I've missed you guys. Sorry that we kind of lacked videos, but we're back. We're here. We're back, guys. So let's go ahead and jump into the vlog. Okay, so like, this is the machine that my sister got us for Christmas. So I'm gonna use it to make my iced coffee. Have to pull it out. Mm. All right, breakfast is ready. I'm gonna go work on my media kit and answer some emails and then get my video ready for today. It's not breakfast at Champions like it normally is, but hey, it's something. I'm not gonna lie, I freaking love my aesthetics in here. Like I custom made like the lights that are all back there so they continuously change colors, but I love these settings. I cannot wait for you guys to see me to start streaming in here. Oh, I am so excited. Okay, so the time is now three o'clock. Um, I've had, it's like, it was been a long morning. So I did my updated media kit, which probably took like an hour and a half to do. And then I responded to about four to five emails. And then I got my glam light vlog ready to go because I had to fix a couple things on that. And then I went and did all my taxes. So I'm just waiting on one more tax documentation and then I can actually file my taxes. So I went and did all my taxes, which took hours to do. I'm getting an accountant next year, I have to, but that is all done and over with. It's now three o'clock. I didn't even have lunch yet. I pulled a salad out of the fridge like an hour and a half ago to make for myself. So now I'm gonna go dig into that, take the dogs for a walk. And then I'm gonna relax and probably play some video games, maybe read. I'll show you guys what I got book wise, but just so excited that I finally can relax for the evening. And then tomorrow I have a pre film video as well with Leah. And I think I might go tan by the pool because then I go straight into bachelorette weekend time. But anyway, let me go take the dogs for a walk, come back, eat my lunch, and then kind of figure out what I'm gonna do the rest of my day. But this is my vlog. This is my daily life, guys. So I read this book last week and it was so heartbreakingly beautiful. It was devastating. It literally tore my heart into two. I haven't cried that hard in a book in a very long time. So because of how 
devastating this was. I felt so empty after reading that I decided not to read for a hot minute. So I haven't read it in like a week. But now my books have come in. I'm still waiting for one more to come in. I got this book from her. This is my first time ever reading her and I had to go pick up another one. So I got this book called Four Winds and that's supposed to be arriving any day. But until then, I have the book Reminders of Him from Colleen Hoover because my best friend Alyssa said I have to get it. She says it's amazing. I also picked up The Nightingale because another one, another one of my good friends, Megan, said that this book is phenomenal. She said also said this book called Homefront is phenomenal as well from Kristen, Kristen Hanna. So I'm excited. These are the first times I ever read her book and I will say that I was so captivated by this. If you guys have not read The Great Alone, I highly suggest that you do because it really is such an amazing story. It definitely has a lot of triggers in there. It will break your heart. It leaves you empty, but it was so worth reading. So I think I'm going to pick between these three books to start reading again tonight. I just haven't picked up. I haven't figured out which one I'm, I'm going to pick up. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to go get my salad though. Okay, tomorrow's the bachelorette weekend begins. So I'll definitely know how things go guys, but I am going to go continue to make dinner and I'll just keep filming throughout the week. See you guys. This is cool. Intro? No. Oh, okay. Okay, we can do the intro. I'm gonna let Emily do the intro. So oh, I can. You got it. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hello. What's up? And welcome back to our Florida Life and Paige and Jarvis's channel. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we are spending the weekend with our amazing friends and we're also meeting Courtney from Bling Brushes. It's our so first exciting. time. And right now we are heading to an escape room. This is Jarvis's first time. I'm excited. I know, I know, I know we're not allowed to film inside the escape room, right? <laughs> no. I'll try to get what I can. Oh no, I'll get yelled at. <laughs> but yeah, we're excited. We're just going to have a very chill weekend. So we're going to take you guys along. Hopefully, because every time we get together we never film because we just don't think about it. Yeah, we have too much fun. We do, we do. We just, I, I wish you guys were here like five minutes ago. We yeah, had the best yeah, laugh. I was so bawling. We literally, literally so, so many tears. I was laughing so hard. <laughs> I couldn't breathe. I wish I got it. Too bad Corey didn't have a dash cam. I, I was going to say yeah. I wish I had a dash cam. <laughs> but anyway, we'll take you guys on our weekend adventure. Okay, we're at our first. I gotta be quiet because it's awkward. Yeah. We're at our first escape room. Hello. Okay, you ready? Yeah. If I am your brother, but you are not my brother, who are you? My sister. Or I'm your sister. Oh, <laughs> I'm horrible at riddles. <laughs> um, All right, we got oh, that's one. a long one. Oh, that one's hard. Jesus, I'm long. Jarvis, are you excited? I'm very excited. Which one are we doing? Um, Seven Deadly Sins. Okay. So it's like... Uh, we gotta escape hell. Uh, what is it called? The phasmophobia? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey guys, good morning. It is the morning of Koa surgery. We're um, about to go drop them off. It is 7.20 in the morning. We've been up since 5.45 because we had to give him medication to take before surgery. So we're tired. <laughs> and Corey still has to work today. So we're... Uh, so we are on our way to go um, drop him off right now. Hopefully the surgery goes well, it's fast and quick. Oh my baby. I'm so sad, I feel so guilty. He doesn't feel guilty. Because I know it needs to be done. I know, but I feel so guilty, right? You, you know you're not guilty? Mm -hmm. But I feel guilty, I feel like a bad mom. That's like my poor baby. But anyway. I'll let you guys know how it goes, keep you guys updated, but we're on our way. We just robbed them all. <laughs> He's gonna be fine. 
I know, but I just feel like really guilty. I took everything I had not to like cry when he was talking to us because I just feel so guilty and like I feel bad. I don't like not having him with us, you know. So we just dropped him off and um, yeah. I'll get a phone call later today to see like how it went. I know everything's supposed to go good, but yeah, they're not worried about it. I know, but it just makes me sad. <laughs> oh, my baby's home from surgery. It went well, but he's now gonna be resting. He's kind of out of it still, so I'm gonna be checking on him. And I'm not leaving aside for the rest of the day, so. Oh, here's Kaya. So surgery went well, everything went well, but I wanna apologize to you guys for not really putting out content since I went to LA. It's just when I got back, um, first I was focused on a wedding, but then ended up not being the wedding because the bride and I just didn't get along. So I, did, was, I didn't end up going to that wedding, which I'm actually grateful for. <laughs> but after that, I just kind of fell into like a really, really low place because I don't think people realize how hard it is to be a content creator. Like it may look like it's really easy, but it, it may look like it's really easy and it is for some people. It really, really is, but not for me. Um, it's hard because I work five to six days a week, making sure that I produce content, not just on my YouTube channel, but I try to get stuff right here, um, on my Instagram, TikTok, uh, now Snapchat. And it's just, it can really be taxing sometimes on my mental health and it's just gotten hard because like I don't really openly talk about this just because I am scared to but I mean I'm barely growing and so that's that's hard which is you know it's fine but I think what really sucks is like not making that much money like for some reason I've, I'm making less money now than I was two or three months ago so it's really scary because I only get paid once a month so I feel like such a failure and I feel like I made a goal to be a full-time content creator and I feel like I'm failing because I'm not producing what I thought I would be able to and I feel like I'm such a burden to Corey and hindering him from living his best life and it makes me feel like absolute shit so it really has put me like in a rut um mentally and emotionally and I've started to look for jobs um just because I don't I don't want to I don't know. I don't want to fail. And I feel like I am. And I just, I want to have a beautiful home. I'm not saying I want to make like all this money in the world, but I want to have a beautiful home where my dogs could have a backyard they could run around in and, you know, provide for my family and not have to rely on paycheck to paycheck. I hate that feeling. So I've definitely been like battling my mental health and battling, should I call back my job or apply to other jobs or keep going and not give up my dreams. So that's where I'm kind of at right now. It's why I haven't really given you guys much content. And I feel really bad about it because I love being here and I love giving you guys content. I just feel like, what can I show you? Like, what can I show you guys without being so depressive and whatnot? And then I realized maybe I should just show you that because at the end of the day, it's me, it's my life. And I shouldn't like hide that part of myself from you guys, you know? So anyway, um, I didn't really film too much for the last month or two, I went to a used bookstore with my friend Jessica. I had a great time and I'll like insert some clips that I have. Um, it's a really cool bookstore, freaking massive. Definitely found some goodies in there. And then I got to meet Courtney from Bling Brushes. Um, Paige and Jarvis came down and stayed with us. I did not film anything except an intro with Paige and Jarvis or just Paige. That was it because Courtney wasn't comfortable being on camera and I have to respect her not wanting to be on camera because not everybody in my life wants to be, actually no one really in my life wants to be on camera. So I have to respect those boundaries, but um, I promise I'm gonna do better. I promise I'm gonna get back into my weekly videos for you guys because I miss being here. I miss posting content for you and I want to show you guys the good as well as the bad and it definitely has been a rough month and a half for me mentally and emotionally and really, you know, going to my brain and saying, is this worth it? Like, am, am I good enough to even do this? Cause I just feel like a failure. Like I really do feel like a failure. And um, I've cried a lot about it <laughs> and I don't like talking about it out loud cause it just sucks. But I decided that I'm gonna start showing the good and the bad. So that is where this vlog is at. I don't know how long this vlog is gonna be. Cause like I said, I don't really have too much content filmed at this time because I just wasn't and the right state of mind to film, you know, but 
now that I decided to just show the truth, you guys are going to get what you're going to get. So right now I'm home. Koa is laying right next to me. He is coming down from anesthesia. He's going to be out pretty much all day. So I am not going to really do much today. So give you guys updates on him and my foundation routine that I'm filming right now. And uh, that's pretty much where I'm going to be at tomorrow is Friday. I don't really have anything planned except be home all day for him. And then Saturday and Sunday, we'll kind of see what we do from there. Um, money's really tight right now. I take whatever little bit I do make on YouTube to pay for everything that I can. And then I pray that if I get an affiliate code or affiliate pay, because that would turn around and that would literally go and buy the makeup launches for you guys. So I have not invested anything in myself yet. I have not put anything away into saving. Um, I have not been able to, I have not earned a profit yet. So maybe one day. And I know it's not, it's not about money. I know. But it's just, if I want to be able to do this full time for you guys, I know that I have to make something from it. I can't just fully rely on it. And I definitely have talked to other creators and they do very well for themselves. And it just is definitely goals and aspiration going, okay, that's what I want to do for myself. So I just want to make enough where I could take care of my family. That's all I care about. Um, and I love doing YouTube. So no matter what happens, I'm going to keep doing it. And it's just a matter of, do I do it now as more of a hobby? Or do I continue to do it full time and see what happens? So that's kind of where I'm at. But anyway, I will keep you guys updated. And yeah, I love you guys. I'm sorry I've been so quiet. Hey guys, so I look like shit right now because I feel like shit. Um, I'm currently editing um, today's video to get that up for you guys. So you guys have content on Friday, but um, it was a very, very long night. Uh, Koba started to get in pain, you could tell. Um, he started to become in pain and he would just kind of sit there and whine and there's really nothing I can do because I wasn't allowed to give him his pain medication until today. So he kind of just had to lay there and I felt so bad for him. He was so out of it. I had to like spoon feed him to get him to eat. Um, it, once Corey got home, he got like a little bit more energy and got better. But uh, it was just a very long night because we slept on the couch because we wanted to sleep next to him because we have a big king size bed now and normally he likes to sleep in the bed, but then he'll like to sleep in the dog bed right next to us. So he'll be right next to us. And I wanted to make sure that he was okay. And if he needed me, I was right there in case he needed to like throw up, use the bathroom, anything he needed. I went right there. So we slept on the couch, had his dog bed right next to us on the floor. So it's like an easy, I could just touch him. So we slept there and um, it was just a very, very long night. I passed out like around 11, but I was up by seven because of Jace walking around crying, meowing and messing with the blinds. So there was that, so I have a massive headache because of that. But then I got a phone call from the vet and unfortunately I missed the phone call because it said no call ID. So I was kind of like, Ooh, who is this? And it was his vet calling about his results of his x-ray. And they said that he has a very, very mild form of arthritis with bilateral hip dysplasia like he's presenting really early stages of it and um so they're recommending that he goes on joint supplements and he'll do his first round of x-rays in six months to see how it's progressed um but they said that we're very lucky that we caught it early so that we can like really you know start process like medicating like medication now start everything now so you can pretty much delay it or stop it from progressing any further and it just would be like a mild discomfort every once in a while um but let me tell you guys the way that I broke down and cried like the entire time because I don't know I just don't want him to be in any pain and you know Corey's like you know consider it a good thing like we caught it so early like they have like very very early symptoms of it and I just lost it and I just cried because like that's something I was always scared of like my dogs getting because they're German Shepherds and hip dysplasia is known to get be in German Shepherds I think they said like 80 to 90 percent of German Shepherds get hip dysplasia at some point in their life and it doesn't kill him but it could decrease the quality of his life where he could be in pain discomfort so this is where my job as a parent is to step up and make sure that I don't make it in progress any further so we'd have to you know, do joint supplements now, but maybe down the line, he'd have to have an orthopedic bed, have to have stairs, have to be on different types of medication. Um, he'd have to maybe do surgery, depending on the surgery, it might be a hip, a hip replacement or just a mild surgery to realign the joints. I don't know, um, but all I know is that I just, I bawled my eyes out because that's just like the one thing I didn't want to hear because when we got Kaya surgery last year to remove a cyst, we had her x-rayed and she was completely fine, presented no signs, but who's to say she won't develop it later on in life, you know? So, um, 
I feel very guilty. Like, I feel like it's my fault. I just feel like it's my fault. I feel like maybe if I, I don't know, did give him a different diet, or I didn't want him run around and play a lot as a puppy, if I fed him different food, like, I don't know. I just feel very guilty, like it's my fault. Needless to say, I am not doing good today. Um, I just want him to be okay. I don't want him to be in any pain. So, anyway, I said I was gonna show you guys the good and the bad. So, this is the bad right now. Um, I guess the silver lining of the good news that comes out of this is that Jacqueline Cosmetics reached out to me this morning and asked if I wanted to get a special discount code for you guys to use on the Dear Mom palette. So if you guys use code ALLY15, you guys will save 15% off the Dear Mom palette starting on Monday. I think it's Monday the 1st through Friday the 6th. Um, just as a way to say thank you to her followers and um, I thought it was really sweet that they gave me a code to use for you guys. So if you guys did buy the palette, I would really appreciate if you guys use the code. I don't make money on it. I do not make many, many, any money on it whatsoever. It's just a discount code. But I'm hoping that maybe if they see people use my code, maybe I can one day be good enough to be on the list, you know? So, um, anyway, I am going to finish editing this video. I just said I was going to keep you guys up to date, let you guys know what's going on, and show you guys the good and the bad from now on. Because you guys need to see, like, the ugly side of YouTube too, where it can be very lonely and, um, yeah, it can really fuck with your head sometimes. So, anyway, uh, I look like pure shit. <laughs> I sleep very well because any movement that Koa made, I was like, are you okay? Like, I feel like, I feel like my mom, where when I was a very sick child, I had really bad tonsillitis and, um, I remember I didn't know how to tell my mom that I was gonna throw up. I used to tell her that I was hungry because I couldn't describe the like nausea feeling. So my mom would just lay there with me and wait for it to happen because she knew and when it did happen, she was always there for me. So like, I feel like that's me with him. Any slight movement that he makes, I'm literally like all over him. He did poop today for the first time. So I'm very grateful about that. He did pee, but he is literally clinging to me. Every step I take, he's right there with me. And so I'm not really moving around much. I'm not leaving his side because he feels the need to still follow me and be in the room with me. And I, you know, I'm trying to let him know, like, it's okay, buddy, just lay down. But he just wants to be right next to me. He wants to be next to his mom. And when I get done filming, that's Kaya right there. When I get done um, editing, I'm going to just lay back on the couch with him and just let him lay on me for the rest of the day. Cause that's all he wants to do. He just wants to lay on me and cuddle with me. And you know, that's, that's my baby. And um, I'm going to be there for him. So I just need to get this up and um, yeah, anyway. I love you guys. I'll try to add more stuff to this vlog before I end it, but I just really just wanted to let you guys know what was going on. So, I love you. Listen. Don't look so excited, Kaya. Mm. I'm gonna switch. Why? Oh, yeah. Alrighty, guys. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Koa and Kaya. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Woo! Okay, you guys, lots of wishes, lots of candles. Ready? Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, yes, come on, come on, come on, it's okay. Oh, you no, can get no, no, the no, candle. No, no. Jingle, buddy. Oh, there you go. There you go, oh, Kaya. Oh, yeah, good boys. There you go, Kaya. Yes. Yes, you go, baby. Oh. Okay. Okay, just can you swallow it? <laughs> oh, don't spit it all over the couch. Oh, look, there's, Bro, there's you just the... did that in one bite. There's her face again. That one concentration face. Yay! Happy birthdays! Happy birthdays! I've never seen a dog inhale an entire <laughs> cupcake in one swallow. The frosting is literally all over my hand. 
but I will catch it. Just for you. Kaya hasn't even eaten her cupcake yet. You better hurry up, Kaya, because you know him. He's going to steal it. Yes, he will. Oh, she just likes to take her time. She's very thorough. There she goes. There she goes. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, yay! Happy birthday, babies! Hello, happy birthday! Yeah! Did she just eat it, too? She did! How did they do that? I don't know! Go, baby! That's so good! Yummy, yummy, yummy! Yeah, yummy, yummy! I love you guys! Good morning, guys! My hair is so greasy, but... It is um, Sunday morning and I'm about to wrap up the vlog here. I don't really know what I got, honestly, footage wise, just because I, you know, really fell off the deep end when I came to vlogging and not really filming like the bad with the good. And so I don't really know how this vlog is going to turn out. I'm going to try to make it something and I'm going to, from this point on, focus on just filming everything, regardless if it's good and the bad, and just really show you guys like the truth you know that I know that I have showed you guys the truth before but like honestly show you guys like the struggles because I think people have it in their head that youtubers just have it like all together and their their lives are perfect and they just make all this money in the world and it is just by far the complete opposite it could be a very lonely isolating job it really makes you question things and um especially because I don't make what I would want to make um it's really hard and there are some months where I'm just like looking at Corey like I don't think I can keep going so definitely have some struggles but like I said I'm gonna start keeping that door open for you guys so you guys can see the truth because I don't think anyone ever talks about the truth but um right now Corey's walking Kaya and Koa Koa's doing better um he's still really red down where he got his um neutered um still has like some rashes right there he's still on pain medication for the next couple of days and we go on Wednesday to go talk to his vet to be like okay so what are the next steps with him having early stages of uh, arthritis and bilateral hip dysplasia? Um, where he already started the joint supplement and I think he's just going to kind of explain about it. And he has very, very, very mild conditions and it can be treated so well and treated so, because we caught it so early, it could be really manageable where we can kind of stop the spread of it and kind of maybe eventually, it won't reverse itself unless we do surgery, but yeah, it's just one of the downfalls of having um, a purebred German Shepherd and having a large dog, you know what I'm saying? So we go on Wednesday to go check out, with, to go talk to the vet. And then this weekend is Mother's Day and um, uh, Dr. Strange is coming out and have tickets to go see that. But I'm supposed to grab lunch with my best friend on Mother's Day, see my mom. But right now my parents leave for West Virginia tomorrow. So this entire week I'll be watching my parents' cats because they'll be in West Virginia um, to be with my aunt, you know, since my uncle just passed away. So, that's kind of like where my life is right now. Um, oh, my Jacqueline code goes live tomorrow. You guys want to use code Ally15. You guys will save 15% off the Dear Mom palette. Uh, by the time you guys see this, by the time you guys see this, you guys should know that I have the code. Also, I got an email that says I'm officially added to the Dominique Cosmetics PR list, which I, th I think is really cool. So, anyway, I am going to go enjoy my cup of coffee. I'm going to... Um, read The Wife Between Us. That's what I'm reading right now. I finished uh, Miss Island Patient and The Perfect Marriage. And I do have a Goodreads. If you guys want to go follow me on Goodreads, I do have a Goodreads. It's just Allie Dawson 89 You guys can go follow me on there. That's where I'm kind of like talking about books. I'm going to do a follow up with all the books Paige got me because you guys seem to really enjoy it. But uh, I just wanted to. Now you guys know I'm reading The Wife Between Us right now. Halfway through. It's pretty interesting. It's pretty good. So anyway, I'm going to go edit this video, read the book, and I'm just going to enjoy my Sunday without having to work because I'll be grinding all week, producing as much content for you guys. Not not only am I doing YouTube videos, I'm also making sure I do TikToks, IG Reels, Snapchat, Spotlight stuff, and I'm trying to be more active, you know? So anyway, I love you guys, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you guys very, very soon.